Hi folks, I'm back again. I've just spent well my late afternoon building the the other colonial wagon, that's the Sarissa flatbed wagon. And I thought I'd well share my thoughts with you on it. This is the foreground one I built the other day and I've got the other one over there. So yeah. Um I just built up late afternoon when I was watching Band of Brothers this one. I'll just take that one out of the way. And I'm not sure if I am happy with it. The end product I am I am happy with. But I was a bit disappointed with some aspects of it. Uh, a few of the bits came on and they're just card. They're not MDF. So I wasn't very happy with the quality there. Um you can see that on the railings. So I was expecting an entirely MDF kit. As I say, this this is only my second kit, so maybe you guys who have been at it for longer, m maybe this is a normal thing for an MDF kit. But, um, I don't know, something a little bit lacking there. I would much rather just have an etched you know, piece of MDF for the sides, just because it, it's not going to be as solid as MDF, that card, that... Um, but uh, yeah, maybe that's just me being whingy, I'm not sure. Um, they are quite different kits, really. This one represents, I suppose, a wagon, and you, you can put your driver there. This one's more of a... Well, there's, no, there's not even a foot piece or a bench here on this one, on the foreground one. But it it is accurate in that you just have your mealy bags or whatever on there. And this would just be a transport wagon, and you'd have your your oxen tether then. Um, they had a lot of hassle with these flatbed wagons getting stuck all the time, <laughs> let me tell you. From re what I read in the book, uh, I think it was Zulu Rising or one of the other books covered it. Um, yeah, they, they look quite different. I don't know which one is the most accurate. I, I'm quite happy with both of them. You know, that after doing this, it was frustrating. I cut my thumb doing it and at the time I was like, oh, not buying one of these again, but Oh, that looks good at the end of the day. Um, they, they both have quite a interesting... Well, they, because they're two different companies, they approach the mechanics of an MDF kit completely differently. Like the underside, the carriage, the swiveling, all the mechanisms are different. Um, this one had finer pieces to cut out, so this must have had the best part of oh, 50 bits to assemble together. So I'd probably argue this would take the longest. This one still took a long time today, but it's, you know, the first time you build a kit and you're unfamiliar with it, it's going to take you a little time because you're doing it carefully. You don't want to mess up and stuff. Uh, this kit, I should add, um, does come with ammo crates. They're not particularly inspiring. They're just, and they're very frustrating to put together. They don't look all that much either. They seem to fall in um, in decent scale with a 28mm figure though. I've got a pile of them over there, I can't face building them up at the moment. <laughs> I might do it um, on a rainy day, even though today has been rainy to be fair. Um, so yeah, that was the Sarissa one folks, that went for around 950 so just under a tenner for that one. But this one was just 550 So um, I'll, I'm not sure what I'd tell you, perhaps just get two of these at the end of the day. Or, or get a few of each, you know, it's up to you, um, if you're only going to buy one of them, I'd say, just go for that one, but if you're going to get a few, then get a mix, you know, and there's uh, metal ones, apparently, available from Redoubt, and Empress will probably do one as well, so if you want, <laughs> want the quality, maybe even go, go metal with them. The other thing I wanted to mention, so that's just the, the comparison and the final review on the Sarissa one is um, I've started work on the mealy bags for Rock's Drift and, well, other parts of the campaign as well. Uh, this one's been primed. So these are air-drying clay mealy bags that I've sculpted, I suppose. I've um, put little... If you want to watch a more in-depth video on how to make them, I think the channel on Facebook is called War Paint Figures. There's a guy doing all sorts of useful terrain videos at the moment, so he's he's to be thanked for 
making these videos and put them up on Facebook. I don't think it's a YouTube channel, it's more something that you look up on Facebook and follow his page on that. Um, sorry, I'm showing it weirdly. I've just primed that up in... Um, just in black emulsion, that's just called Supernova from Wilco, so that's just a cheap way to prime and <laughs> a great way to do it indoors as well without having to spray anything. And I've done them on wooden tape measures of all things. I've just hacked it up. I tried it on cardboard but it warped unfortunately so I was gutted with that. So I ripped it off. It took a little bit of time but I'm going to base them up on wooden tape measures and some of the club is cutting out some bits for me as well of wood so between <laughs> between us we're going to have quite a few sections of um, mealy bags for Rorkstrith well with, with the help of those um, hardboard bits this is another example this one's a bit further along so obviously I'll put filler on the base and things but um, I'm going to go over with a an acrylic brown wash no need to use the good stuff and um, yeah, I think those will come out nicely. Just to show you in scale, maybe. Ooh, and uh, we could do this, perhaps. Bear with me, folks. <laughs> hope you think, uh, I hope you know what I'm trying to achieve. A little bit of a rock's drift scene then. Once everything's quite happy with the wagons are there, unpainted, but um, if I've got uh, some spare time sometime, I'm sure well, Ralph suggested the colours that they were painted in, uh, like a greenish blue or something, I'll have to go back and check, but to, I would like to get it just right. Um, but yeah, these are going to be super handy for Rock's Drift, and I can use them for Isan Loana as well, the wagons. So that's two, I'm quite happy with that for now. The next wave, I suppose, if I get any leftover... Um, little bit of cash left over from Christmas, invest it in some more bell tents and uh, wagons. Is that the kind of thing <laughs> I like to do with my uh, spare cash? <laughs> Everyone's got their, their little things, haven't they? And uh, in the craft store today, so I, I picked up two lengths of balsa wood. I'm not going to try and show you those on camera. And um, I'm going to mess around, try and make ammunition crates from wood and green stuff and things. And also I bought a big load of um, modelling material, air hardening. They did have a normal mo modelling clay, but I don't think that's the one I wanted. I think I wanted this stuff. Um, that's oh, a kilo of DAS modelling clay. So that's the good stuff. It does say air hardening on it, so I think that's the one I want. Um, uh, I've already tried making the mealy bags. So th this is the first attempt at making mealy bags, but I'll be able to make lots more with what I've bought today. That wasn't too bad. So for a, a kilo of DAS goes for 8.75 at the craft shop. So it's not cheap, but it's um it's also quite good value when you consider the ready-made ones, you know. And I'm happy to make it. I enjoy the well the process of making them myself and I'm going to make a redoubt then all of this and I'll order a base from War Bases um like a large mm, rectangular-ish base, not a rectangular, sorry, um, like a tapered square and make a, a proper redoubt in the centre for Rock's Drift. So lots of ideas, guys. <laughs> um, that's about it for now. I did want to keep you posted on that. As I said, I'd probably go for foreground if you're just buying your first wagon, <laughs> if, if you do. And um, after that, I'd probably give the Sarissa one another shot. I, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't recommend it to someone else, but um, uh, yeah, just a little grievance with the the card, I suppose. I would, I would like to see them make that in all in MDF. Yeah, I think I'd prefer that. Um, that's it for now, folks. I'll keep you posted. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Ta. -ra.